Hello guys and welcome to episode 14 of the Spring Boot Security course. Today we're going to discuss about permission-based authorization. In the previous episode we configured role-based authorization for application and now we're going to take things and make them even more granular. Now, if you remember from a previous episode, we discussed the subtle difference between permissions or granted authorities and roles in the context of Spring security. And basically, the only difference is their granularity. You know, we can consider roles to be, you know, big chunks used for authorization, like, you know, admin role, management role, I don't know, API role. And we can consider permissions or granted authorities to be very, very granular, like, you know, read the users, modify users, uh, access API, stuff like that. And today we're going to put this theory into practice and we're going to modify our Spring Security configuration to allow uh, you know, permission-based authorization to various sections of our app. Going back to our application, we need to make a couple of modifications. The first one is regarding users. So we have defined three users, admin, dan, and manager, each with a particular role. Now, we also need to you know, define permissions if you want to enable permission-based authorization. So let's make this code a little bit more readable because right now I think we have plenty, uh, plenty lines of code. Okay, uh, and with user, this is the password, this is the roles, and with user, this is the password, this is the roles, okay? And now, for each user, you know, we have a password, we have roles, and we can also add in authorities, you know? So let's say that uh, the admin is allowed um, you know, he is allowed to access, you know, test one and test two REST API methods. So you say access test one, access test two, and access test one, access test two, you know, we can consider them as being, you know, authorities. Okay. And I think I made a mistake. I should have written them like this, you know, two authorities. Now, Dan is not allowed to, doesn't have any authority and the manager should be you know allowed to access test one you know so access test one like i said um authorities or permissions are very granular so in real world applications uh, role-based authorization might not be flexible enough because you have you know per you have a lot of features and you want to allow permissions to some of them, some of those features to a variety of users, and sometimes it's not enough to create a couple of roles because you know different users might be in, in the same role but might have different you know uh, privileges. And for those scenarios, it's far more common to define permissions or authorities and to base your authorization on them than to create you know roles which are not which are you know descriptive but not very granular. Okay. So what we would like to do is I would like to allow the admin user with these two permissions, access test one and access test two REST API, and the manager can also access the test one REST endpoint, okay? Anybody else cannot access them. So now that we have, you know, enriched our users with these authorities, uh, we need to configure, you know, the HTTP access to them. So what I'm gonna do here, so, the api dash public dash test one should be accessible for users who have the test one authority so um has authority and now we need to see here access test one so it's pretty similar to rows like these concepts are pretty much the same in you know theory just their granularity is different Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this for test two, has authority test two. So only users who have this authority can access this REST endpoint and only users with this authority can access dash API dash public dash test two. Okay, and now that we have enabled this permission-based uh, authorization, let's see if 
this actually works. So we'll fire up our application and try to access these two endpoints. So, localhost 8082, API public, test one, and let's try to use manager. So, manager, we'll type in the password and we can access this API. Now, if you try to access dash API dash public dash test two, which is the second REST endpoint, you know, we get this 403 forbidden status code. That's because the manager is not. Uh, does not have the access test to authority. He can only access the first method. If we do the same thing for admin, we should be able to access both API endpoints because the manager, uh, because the admin, you know, has these two uh, authorities granted to him. So again, we'll do the same thing. We'll fire up the application and we'll try to access localhost 8082. And this time, let's try to access this to directly. And we'll use in admin, we'll type in the password, and you know the admin can access the REST endpoints. Now, the question arises, when should you use roles? When should you use uh, permissions? From my experience, in simple applications that have very well-defined roles, uh, I don't know, let's say for example, maybe a shopping application where you have maybe a manager who you know checks reports, an admin who adds products or users, and you have the your standard user, then roles might be well suited. In very complex applications in which you have a lot of features and those features need to be dynamically allocated, or you, you might have users with the same you know, role but based on their, I don't know, experience can have multiple privileges inside your application. Well, in these complex scenarios, then, uh, you know, permissions or authorities are way better because they are very granular. You don't have to define, I mean, you, you can define a permission for each feature in your application and then just distribute uh, those uh, permissions to your users. Uh, roles tends to be less flexible because you define a couple of roles and then if you want to have a user which you know has to do an extra little thing or two extra things besides his role then you need to create a whole new role that grants him access for that and then the configuration of security can become you know really cumbersome so in my experience you know simple apps can go pretty well with roles but you know, complex apps with dynamic uh, authorization rules or lots and lots of features usually go better with uh, permission-based uh, authorization. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.RomanianCoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.